Now let's create the hyperlink. There are two ways you can insert the hyperlink over here using the insert menu and then we have hyperlink option or you can go to the standard toolbar. The same option is available here where you have four different ways to insert four different things in your spreadsheet. This internet where you can add the web address, FTP or telnet address over here. The second one is mail and news. Third is document. Document means existing document. New document, I'll tell you what is it. So let's see, I have already inserted some. Let's have a look first. This campus care. So if I click on this, it will open campus care website for me. This is for mail. It will open mailbox for me. This is a document. It is a spreadsheet which I have linked over here. So this is a kind of button. You can see it's a button. These all are text. So you can either create the button or you can simply use it as a text. So first let me click on this. It will take you to this particular address that you have inserted. Then if I click on mail, it will also redirect you to your mail. It will open your mailbox. Then if I click on this, it will open this particular workbook, which is data consolidation. Let's open this. This is a button. So you can see that it has opened data consolidation spreadsheet for me. 2019 sheet is active. I have defined some range. Like I have defined this range and I have defined this range. I, If I want to jump to a particular range of cells, I can also make the reference of that. So this is the range that I have linked over here. So if I click on this particular link, it will open that particular range of cells to me. You can see over here, it has given this particular range. It is highlighted. So this range was linked with my current worksheet. Let's see how we can insert these types of links in our sheet. Again, I'll click on this particular button. Let's insert the link for web. You have to write the correct address, of course. Use it as text. You can use it. If you want to use it as button, you can use it. Now, let's leave it as text. What you want to insert over here, like campus care, log into campus care. Now, where this link will be inserted? In this particular cell because I have selected this. Click on apply. You can see it is inserted here and close. So, whatever I have written, is appearing here. Again, if I click on this, it will open this particular website www.computerscare.in. Now, let's see how to create the link for mail. For this, I will click on this, click on email, then write the name of receiver, write the subject, click on apply and then click on close. We'll insert this kind of mail link for you. Next is document. If you want to insert the link for a, for a document which is already existing here, so how you can open this, you will select on path and click on this open file option. Suppose I want to include this workbook. So select it, click on open. The path will appear here. Now if you want to use a particular spreadsheet, click on this particular button. It will give you all the name of the sheets. So you can directly jump to that particular sheet. Click on sheets and just select the sheet that you want to open. Let's see, I want to open solver. Click on apply close and uh, here I'll give the name solver sheet click on apply and close so it will create the link over here let's open this and it is going to open the solver sheet for me and it will include all the rest of the sheets as well it's not like only that sheet will be visible to me all the sheets in that workbook will be visible so you can see it has opened solver sheet for me it is active now what if you have large amount of data and you want to use only a particular range of cells every time so you do not have to scroll every time or go to open the sheet and then scroll up and find out that particular range you can define that range and create the link it will automatically take you that particular cells of range so for that you have to define the range first how to define the range i just want to define the range for over here and for this, select the range of cells, go to data and here you have defined range. Give it a name like, uh, I'll just give a uh, range 1, let's say, R1, click on add. Let's take this also and click on OK. So I have defined two range. I can use any of the range here. Now let's close this, click on yes. Now again, open the hyperlink dialog box and I want to use another worksheet here. Let's click on document find out the file where you have defined the range. 
select spreadsheet, click on open. You can see the double slash is here, which is full path. It means it's absolute at the same. Click on this one to select the range. Here you will click on database range, then select the range that you want to open. And here I'll write down marks, click on apply and close. So if I click on see, you can see it has been created over here. Click on marks of Samuel, it will open that particular range of cells to create. Can you see that? So I hope this is clear to you. Last option is new document. You can create this and can edit after just creating the link or you can edit it later on. Over here, you have to select the location where you want to save this particular file. We use this new document, whether it's document or spreadsheet or presentation, where you want to save it. So select the location, click on OK and what name you want to give to your document, you can write over here. Like I will write new document, what type of file you want to create, I want to create a text document, so select that. Then this time let's select button, click on apply and close. So you can see this button is created now. You can see a new document has been created for me. Now in case your button is not working, what you have to do? Suppose you are clicking on the link but it is not opening the document. For that, what you have to do? You will go to view menu, post bar, then you have over here form controls. This will appear over here. This is the very first option. Design mode on or off. You have to make it off. By default, it is on. Make it off. That's it. After that, your button will work. Right now, I have made it off. So if I click on this, this will not open the document. For this, I have to turn it off and then you can see it has been turned into a button which will open a new document for me. I hope this is clear to you how to use insert hyperlink dialog box to insert different types of hyperlinks. Now we are left with two topics linking to external data and registered data. Suppose I want to use this site's data and I want that it, its data, whatever the data it's having, it should be reflected in my spreadsheet. So I can use the data of this website which gets updated after a specific period of time that you will specify. Let's see how to do it. For this, you just copy the address, click on the cell, go to insert menu. There you have link to external data. Paste the address, press the enter key on your keyboard. So it will show you the available table or ranges from that particular web page and websites. After that, you have update every 60 seconds. You can specify the time. Like if there are any changes, you can see the data is inserted here. So this data will change after every 60 seconds. So you can minimize the time or maximize it. It's all up to you. What do you want? This is how you can link external data. Within the sheet also, you can do this. For this, you again go to insert menu link to the external data source here you have the browse button click on this browse and select the spreadsheet where you have defined the ranges i have defined in this what if two spreadsheet open the worksheet here i have defined two ranges over there samuel and principal this time i'll click on this and if i want to update it let's say after every five seconds so i can define that click on ok so you can see that my range is inserted here I'll show you the range. This was the range which I have referred. Okay, so if I make change over here, like instead of 20,000, I'll just make it 15,000. Click on save. After every five seconds, it should update itself. Let's see whether it is updating or not. Yes, it is updated. So this is how we can simultaneously link to worksheets and the changes will be reflected in the linked worksheet as well. I hope all the concepts are clear to you. But in case you have any doubt, you can write me in the comment section and I'll get back to you. And tune into my channel for more videos. Thank you so much.